Hi, Aries. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cross watcher. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Let's see what loving messages are meant for you today. Spirit, if you can please share with me, my Aries, love, what is it that you need them to hear? I am listening for you now. I have a reunion. Second chances, getting back together is now possible. Keep your heart open. Is this a reunion? Is this somebody that is coming back from the past? Uh, the past returns. I mean, is that something that you want? If you, that's something that you don't want, this reading might not be for you. We'll check, check out the other readings. Sweetness. Patience is now required. Relax and enjoy the sweetness of life. The universe is taking care of you. So I almost feel like you're in a better place, you know, that this that this is somebody from your past coming back into your life, that you're in a better place this time around, whether it's the stage of life that you're in or years have passed or you are in a better situation, something like that. So there could be re a reason for this um, reunion. You know, it's just a better, better time, better place. They've been missing you. Thoughts of you are on their mind and they're considering feelings and emotions. So you've got somebody, they've been missing you. And I think that they're going to reach out. I feel, um, I feel like you've got somebody that they haven't gotten over you. Maybe you never really got over them. And maybe this is a better time for you both. We closed the gate. Fate had closed the gate that there was no more to return. So can you open that gate again? Maybe you thought that door was closed. Maybe you ch closed that chapter in your life. Maybe you don't want this reunion to come back. Um, but can we open that, that door? They're saying bottom of the deck, I have a destiny point, a crossroads. Which path will you take? Follow your soul's dreams or stay in the comfort zone. You know, you will only know when this uh, past returns, if you are willing to open that door. Um, you know, will you open that door? And that's something that only you can answer, you know. So it's, it's just a matter of time if that comes back to you. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Thank you for all of your kind messages and comments always. And I really appreciate it. Spirit, please share with me. Tell me about this crossroads. A little bit of a, a blast from the past that I wasn't expecting. Let's get these jumpers. I have a queen of pentacles. Yeah, I do feel like you're in a better place. You're more secure. Maybe you're in a better place to make a better decision. Five of Pentacles, you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot is how it's coming into me. But I also feel like you're in a better place to make a decision. I have a seven of wands. You know, you never gave up hope or you never gave up on yourself. And you've grown. You've grown tremendously. You have rebuilt, they're saying. Five of Swords. Yeah, you've survived something. Now, it might not have been with this person. It may have been with somebody else. And this person could have been a relationship like even prior to that or years ago. Um, but I feel like you have a story to tell as to what you've been doing in the meantime. And it's a, it's kind of a, oh, you know, I made it through. <laughs> Somehow I survived. And look at me now, you know, uh, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. There's a sense of we're both in a better place. All right. It could be time age, you know, the, the time of life, something like that. But we're in a better place is how it keeps coming into me. I have a knight of cups. You could have been the one that got away. You could have been the one that I always had feelings for you. Okay. I never gave up on you. Um, I've always, I've always thought we'd be together someday. Um, and maybe it just wasn't the right time. You know, sometimes, other things happen for other reasons. We end up meeting other people so that we could have children. We end up um, saying no to a relationship just because we weren't ready for it at the time. You know, things happen. You're ready to enter into another phase. But I also feel like I've come full circle with the world. I also feel like, you know, this love has come back around. Um, you know, so that is, I, I definitely feel like I've come full circle. Let's see what else they're saying. We've got definitely some kind of past 
trying to open the door. Will you open the door? Will you open the door? Gold digger. Are they coming back just because they need you in any way? And if obviously you're not going to say yes to that, but if they're coming back because they need you for money or they're asking for money or they need a place to live and you're conveniently living alone and have extra room in your house, you know, no, um, that's not a reason to be, be with anybody. Narcissistic, someone is too full of themselves. So obviously you're going to say no to this kind of energy. <laughs> you know, you're going to keep that gate closed, right? So if somebody is this energy, you know, you're going to push it away and you know rightfully so but if it's somebody that you are kind of you know curious as to what's been going on in their life and what changes have happened in their life since you saw them last a guardian a lost loved one watches over you so that you make the right choices is how I feel somebody wants you to be happy a lost loved one parent grandparent even a sibling that somebody wants you to be happy I have intimacy. There could be great intimacy with this past person. There was always chemistry. I'm remembering what kind of lover you were. I I'm, I'm haven't forgotten how um, intense it was, Spirit said. So obviously this person hasn't forgotten uh, what, what you meant to them. Patience, just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. So that could be a time um, you know, within the next few months that this this connection could be literally knocks on your door um, and you, you're just shocked, you know, <laughs> um, you know, it's like, where did you just come from? I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting this. I I had put you out of my mind a long time ago and I really thought that this door was closed, you know, forever. Um, but, you know, maybe spirit has different plans for the two of you. So we'll see. We'll see. I've got the high priestess. What does your intuition say? Obviously, if this person wasn't healthy to begin with or it wasn't a good connection to begin with, it doesn't matter what they're feeling. All that matters is what do you want? What's best for you? What's best for your future self? So if you, it's not going to be good for you this time around, the same as it wasn't the first time around, you're not going to go there. So a lot of reminiscing, a lot of memories, a lot of um, you know, you just opened up a lot of old feelings. You just reminded me of my younger self or years ago, something like that. So I feel like there's a lot of reminiscing going on. Ten of Wands. Now that's coming into me as not that it would be hard for us to be together, but there could be some kind of obstacle that we'd have to overcome, whether it's somebody would have to relocate or move or make some some changes but it, it, they would do those things for the person who got away a long time ago because they already know you spirit saying it's not like they're starting from scratch they they already know you you were in a relationship um you know years ago and you know god give me strength to make the right choice because i don't want to make the wrong choice so i feel like that's something that you'll be asking for uh, do I walk away? Will this would this person disappoint me again? So there's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of fears. Um, they, there's a lot of communicating that has to take place. Spirit saying, but you know what? Right now, I feel like you're going to have a choice. I feel like you're going to choose. You know, uh, uh, you know, do I stay where I am, or do I choose a new path? Do I try to choose a new path for myself? Is there a reason this person has come back into my life? Is it fate, destiny? Um, is it a soul connection? Is there a reason this person's coming back to me? Um, they're coming back with loving feelings. They're coming back filled with emotion. They're coming back with, I never stopped loving you. I never stopped caring about you. And it could be one of those connections that in a nanosecond, when you hear this person's voice, you're right back where you were with this person you the feelings come back it's as if um it's as if time didn't even happen you know that you immediately pick up where you left off and part of me feels like that's what's going to happen this connection we'll just pick up where we left off and i don't care if it was six months ago or six you know 16 years ago <laughs> you know i feel the same i feel like it's just going to be like boom in a nanosecond 
I'm not used to this type of love. Okay, like I've carried it with me. I never let it go. Something like that. I'm seeing you in a whole new light. Whatever we've been through, whatever has happened in between, I, I see how much you've grown. I see how much you've le uh, you've learned. You've grown. Something like that. Um, I want to walk into the sunset with you. I want to grow old with you. I don't want to let you get away the second time. I, I feel like that's really what this is all about. And I'm so deeply in love with you. I, I feel like they realize that they never stopped loving you. They never stopped loving you. If, even over, it could be years, you know, it could be, you were always on my mind. I always wondered how you were. Every night I go to bed and I'm thinking of you. And I do believe that. I do believe that even for a long time, that there's days and nights that you were always, always in my heart, always in my mind for whatever reason. And, and maybe it was somebody, that one person that you just can't get out of your mind. And it doesn't, you didn't think that you'd ever see them again or certainly never hear from them again. But um, obviously this person has been thinking of you and I think they're taking their chance. I think they're taking a chance because they either risk it all now, spirit says, or they'll, they will never know. I feel you are my soulmate. I, I do believe that. I do believe that. I, I it, It's such a connection of I, I let you go so long ago or I shouldn't have let you go and I never really got over you. It, it's really that kind of um, kind of energy. And then I feel like we're going to just pick up where we left off for those of you that want to reconnect with this person. So I feel like it's going to be effortless. <laughs> it's almost like, yep, that was easy. We're, we just picked up where we left off and, you know, and, and it doesn't even seem like we were separated for, for however long. Let's put this out into the universe. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind words and comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.